Yes, I'm sure that uh, it's not a comment that we made lightly. Uh, it was well considered. Obviously, I would not have to go to the public to show that here is the money. But we'll get the money. We'll get the resources in terms of our commitment. We may disagree as to how much, but the commitment has been made and uh, we'll follow up on that commitment. Now, that's a commitment you made as uh, Prime Minister. Yes. So, but uh, yeah, your friends outside, the international community, is that sense of goodwill there? There is a sense of goodwill. Uh, I'm sure that we have to distinguish between what are our priorities from those who support us uh, and what are the urgent matters to tackle. I need those civil services back to work. We need those schools to be opened. I could not just go there and say, please go on the basis of goodwill. You had to demonstrate that uh, not only would you appeal for their good sense of responsibility, but also the fact that you are also putting an effort to respond to their needs. Mm -hmm. um, our civil service at this stage, their morale is very, very low. They don't have transport, they don't have food, they don't have anything. So how do you expect people to work? Uh, the teachers, uh, I see teachers almost scavenging around. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's a very pathetic situation. And if we have to set a, a, a good example, now, it's, it's been said, uh, Prime Minister, that uh, um, you, you, you are the man, really, who does hold the key to the money. Otherwise, without you entering into this, it, it, it wouldn't have helped. Is that, is that over, o, o, overstating? No, I, don't, I, don't, I, think, I think it's overstating. Uh, it's overstating my, my position and role. Um, obviously, with the results of the March election, uh, everyone has referred to the March election as a mandate of the people, but we were pragmatic enough to accommodate and say, let's negotiate so that we have a smooth uh, working relation. What this country needs is peace and stability and not tension. So yes, um, we are part and parcel of it. We are part of the solution uh, of the problem that Zimbabwe is facing. And so is President Mugabe. There are, there, there are issues that have been raised on uh, how this is going to work. For example, uh, your uh, party has the finance ministry, which will be crucial to, uh, to really uh, revitalizing the economy of this country. Mm -hmm. But uh, we also know that uh, the, uh, before you entering into the coalition government, uh, the, the, the contract of the governor of the Reserve Bank was extended. We are not the first country in the world where a coalition has worked. I mean, the German mm. government is a coalition. Uh, and, the, and so is the, this government. Is, the coalitions, it means that you have narrowed down the areas of working together uh, as the national interest. Now, we may have the Minister of Finance, yes, to lead. But uh, remember, we are a government. We are a government that is composed of ZANU-PF and the MDC. What I'm going to say to all the ministers is that as soon as you enter the cabinet room, you take off your ZANPF head, you take off your MDC head, and you focus as a government minister. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we are leading this and this one is leading this is immaterial. The mandate that will be given to the ministers is a minister of government with a specific mandate in a specific ministry to lead. But ultimately, we will be judged as a team. Let me say this, you can compare this to the national team, coming from various clubs, mm. but ultimately you build one national team. Uh, that's the concept we are trying to build. People can come from their various political parties, but what I intend to lead is a national team. I'm just a captain okay. in this national team. So, coming back specifically to the Reserve Bank government, yes. the agreement says that these are issues that the government has to deal with. Uh, so the issue of the Reserve Bank Governor, the issue of the Attorney General, are issues that the transitional government has to deal with. The, what I have heard interacting with some people across the continent and uh, also maybe outside is that uh, he represents the governor of the Reserve Bank. He, he represents everything that is wrong with this economy. I'm not here to praise C the governor of the Reserve Bank. He's an employee of the state. Whether he has succeeded, whether he has failed, that is 
the responsibility of the government to make an assessment and evaluate whether his role has been uh, necessary under the circumstances or whether his role in the future will be appreciated or not. So we have to have a, an objective assessment of his role. If we don't agree for him to continue, we'll, we'll say so. If we agree him to continue, we'll say so. And we'll give our reasons. But it has to be it has to be an objective assessment. There are sometimes subjective condemnation uh, just because you have certain uh, speculative uh, conditions. We cannot operate a government uh, on that basis.